Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, this is my rant on teen parents. You know, basically not teen parents, just 16 and pregnant and teen mom that come on MTV. Why do these shows exist? I have no idea. What is the purpose of these shows? I have no idea. But if you look at over the last few, last year or so, these shows have become very popular in their demographic, you know, the 16 and 35 demographic. I say the demographic is like 12, 35. These shows are like top rated shows in that demographic. And this show basically, these shows, I mean, let's be honest. Teen parenting is nothing new in America. Okay, teen parenting has been going on for generations. All right, my grandmother was a teen parent. My mother was a teen parent. My mother gave birth to seven children, none of them who became, who were teen parents themselves, you know. And me, I'm 23, and I have no intentions of becoming a teen, of becoming a parent, you know, in the foreseeable future. But these shows basically glorify teen, teen parenting. I mean, you know, but here's another thing, fact about this show. I mean, I'm not racist. You know, I have friends of all colors and ethnicities. And this is just basically a fact. If you watch these shows, you would understand what I'm talking about. All these shows, if you watched 80% of these shows, 80%, then you would notice how come, the, how come these shows only profile white teens he, I mean I rarely I could probably count on one hand how many black teens I've seen on Teen Mom 16 and Pregnant you know and it makes no sense to me and, and we know in this America I'm pretty sure the people who created this show you know the, the producers of these shows I'm pretty sure they know that the majority of teen parents in this country are minorities, you know, blacks and Hispanics. I'm pretty sure they know that. But how come all I see on this show are whites? You know, that that's something you, people, most people would look at. Like, why, if, there are, if the majority of the people, teen parents in this country are black and Hispanic, then how come all I see, how come all that is 90% of the people that are in these shows are whites and on top of that you know in recent news there have been reports of teens reportedly trying to get pregnant just so they could be get a chance to end up on these shows end up on a 16 and pregnant or a teen mom on MTV which is stupid to me you, you would they just it shows the degree of how it shows basically how far people are willing to go to get fame, whether it be for 15 minutes or five seconds. You know, it really shows how far some of these people are willing to go to get fame. And some of these girls have all some of these girls who are on Team Mom or 16 and Pregnant have already been in spreads in Us Weekly, People, you know, and several other magazines. You know, which doesn't, which definitely doesn't help their case. And I, and this year alone, I lost count of, even though most of the people that I know who became parents this year are teens. Most of them, even though most of them aren't teens, they most of them are either my age or slight or slightly younger. You know, um, I literally lost count of all the people that had gotten pregnant. You know. I probably I probably know five people right now that have either had a baby within the last month, is going to have a baby within the next month, or currently, or have had a baby within the last six months, or three or four months. It, it, it's been just that many. But um, it's just crazy, and, and, and black girls, and not just, not black girls, but Hispanic, but minorities. They get their fame. They get their little known fame. Tony, their moment of fame is a hell of a lot shorter. 
you know, oh, they they get on TV, all right, you know, a white, I'm playing this, a white, white girl get pregnant, she gets pregnant just so she could be on Teen Mom or 16 and pregnant. Black girl gets, or minority gets pregnant, there's a 90% chance that she's going to end up on Maury. She's going to get 10 minutes on Maury. You know, Maury literally became a, because, Lord, Maury literally became a millionaire. Literally. Became a millionaire. On the backs of minorities. And them trying to find their, especially the teen, the minorities or the teen parents, and them trying to find their baby daddies on his shows. I mean, Maury comes on five days a week where I'm at. And I can guarantee you, as sure as, and I'm about as sure as I'm going to get one hateful comment on this video that a Maury episode, tomorrow's Maury episode will be about, you know, a girl trying to find, somebody trying to find their baby dad. And chances are that person trying to find their baby dad, I bet you one or two of them are minorities. You know, and let's be honest, I don't, why do these girls, some of these girls who are trying, you know, with the new set who are trying to get pregnant just so they could be on these shows, who in the hell, how many people have gotten famous by being teen parents? Okay, I mean, there are some famous teen parents out there, but they aren't famous because they were teen parents. Okay, let's look at Bristol Palin, you know, who will be the most famous example. She's not famous because she is a teen parent, even though that is a part of that is a claim to her fame. But she's famous simply because she's the daughter of Sarah Palin. You know, that's basically what she's famous for. Not much else. All right. And then you have Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears already had a certain degree of fame before she became a teen parent. Her claim to fame was whatever show she had on that was on Nickelodeon I swear I can't remember but that's what she's famous she's famous for that she's not famous for getting pregnant and popping out a kid you know and it's just it's just crazy to me that we live in a society where there are girls who are willing and then you got wait on top of that then you got movies like The Pregnancy Pet which I'm pretty sure got high ratings during on Lifetime I mean I, I never watched it but I'm pretty sure it got high ratings you know, on Lifetime, but you got to show, there are so many elements out there that are literally glo and glorifying teen pregnancy, you know, and if once every few years this happens, you know, once every few years this, this, you know, come, this comes up, you know, it's kind of like domestic violence, racism, racial profiling, you know, it's just like once every few months or every few years, it's just one of those issues that you know, all of a sudden dies down, then it comes back up, you know, dies down and it comes back up, you know, and teen pregnancy is just going through that revolving door again, and it's just, but I think this is it's scary, it's just amazing to me that there are people, teenagers in this country who are willing to bring a life into this world just so they could get some degree of fame, and I hope that these girls that are doing that aren't minorities, because if they don't look place minority is going to get a degree of fame from because of being a teen parent is either around the around the town they're in or at the local welfare office i mean i don't understand it maybe it's not meant for me to understand all i know is at the end of the day it's stupid plain and simple anybody who is just stupid